Today I'm going to be reviewing the furry windscreen muff for the Blue Snowball Ice Mic. That was a lot of words. I ordered this on Amazon and links to the seller will be below. In US dollars, it was $13.99 and in Canadian dollars, because I live in Vancouver, Canada, it is $19.30. Now I got this delivered this morning. It is very soft and fluffy on the outside. It is your basic polyester fun fur, I can see from the inside and um, I could have made this myself actually. Uh, it's definitely not $20 worth of fun fur. I could have gone to the fabric store and bought a piece of fun fur like this for, you know, a couple of dollars and put it together myself. But it does save me the time of actually assembling it and driving to the store and like, you know, doing the whole process of that. But I will say that it would be very easy for you to make this identical thing. It's nothing special. The fabric that it's made of isn't anything special or unique. It is just your ordinary fun fur fabric. Uh, and along the edge here, it is uh, fastened with just snaps. That's all that's on there. And mine is actually broken. One of the snaps uh, if you can see here, so you've got your, your two snaps there that go together and then this one up here is stuck to the other side of it. It came out of the fabric. So um, mine is actually broken, but because I ordered it to a P.O. box in the States and I had to drive down to the States to pick it up and then come back here to Canada, it's not worth it for me to go back down there, ship it out, get a new one, wait for it to, you know, be exchanged. It's just not worth my time and I am a seamstress so I have one of these machines that will put these little clippy um, snaps on it. Now the thing I saw in the Amazon reviews that concerned me was that people were having a hard time putting this little muff onto the microphone and they said it was very difficult. It was a really tight squeeze and I've already put mine on here and taken it off and I didn't find that it was hard at all. I'll show you in just a second. Um, but it might be because mine is an older model that maybe it's a bit smaller than the newer model or maybe they started making the muff a little bit bigger so that it wasn't such a tight squeeze. I'm not sure but for me I didn't have a hard time and I'll show you in just a second. Now because I have a broken snap on here I'm going to put that towards the back instead of the front so that I can clip around the, the leg here and have that a tighter fit at the front and then have the open part at the back. So we're just going to slip this over the top of the microphone. There. And as you can see, that went on really easy. No wiggling, no squeezing, nothing. I did it with one hand and it's on there. And there's actually some room in there too. Like it's not really that tight of a fit. And so there you can see at the bottom that we've got our snaps and where our cord comes out, I'm just gonna clip that together now because I need both hands, so I'm just gonna look down here. All right, so we've got our microphone clipped in there now, and as you can see here at the back, it's more open where the cord is coming out, and that's just because I have a broken snap on mine, but if I didn't, it would snap in like that and be a little bit more snug, but I don't think that's gonna make a difference to the sound because it is at the back. And when I'm talking at the microphone, I'm gonna be talking at the front here. So the, where the cord is coming out isn't gonna pick up any of those pop sounds that are coming out of my mouth. So I'm actually not too concerned. I may or may not replace the snap on it. It's not a big deal. Now I'm gonna do two sound recordings, one with the muff on and one with the muff off, just so that you can hear the difference. And I'll say some words that have like P's and B's, a lot of those pop sounds, so that you can hear the sound quality difference and see if it does make a difference and to the ambient sound as well like I said I live on a busy road I have cats that are running around here there are definitely lots of sounds that are happening so you'll hear what it sounds like with and without the muff on it and then you can see if it does make a difference so this is with the muff off. I am about two inches away from the blue microphone right now and there's lots of ambient noise going on. They are running chainsaws outside my apartment right now, cutting down trees. Um, they're doing some landscaping. The cats aren't running around but there is still lots of noise going on. So I'm gonna say some P and some B words and see if we can hear some pops. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers 
And uh, that should probably be enough. And now I'm going to switch over to putting the muff onto the microphone. So this is now with the muff on and I'm the same distance away, about two inches from the microphone and you can hear a definite sound difference in those P and those B words. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. I don't know if it's still picking up the ambient noise, if you can hear the chainsaws distantly in the background, um, but it's definitely making a big difference on those P and B words, especially if you want to do voice recordings, if you're uh, doing any, any readings, anything like that. It's going to make a huge difference in your sound quality. Thanks for watching my product review. If you liked it, you know what to do. Like and subscribe down below or up above or off to the side or wherever those buttons are. I've got lots more videos coming up in the future and I will see you next time. Okay, bye!